Welcome, this is Raul Vargas and this is lesson three of my introduction to programming course. This is this lesson is called linear programming. So let me open up Alice. And um, so basically this is our intro to programming, um, our first time programming in any of the lessons. We're going to be working with this first screen over here. Um, I'm going to just select a snow people template while this window is open again this is the welcome window make if it's not on template click on template select snow hit open so basically you code by putting line dragging blocks of code in here in this window right here um, over here under events we're not going to be working with events just yet but I just want to point out there's there is one event by default when the world starts do my first method well this is my first method that's why we put all of our code in here before we code anything though we need some things in our world so I'm going to set the scene and I'm gonna do this relatively quick because you should be good at dragging things into an Alice world and positioning them that's what we did in the last lesson um, just a quick um, preview of what we're doing we're gonna create a world with a snowman and two snow women the snowman is going to attempt to talk to one of the snow women. She gets embarrassed, she blushes, and he will turn away and hang his head in shame. So I'm going to hit Add Objects to bring me to the design view where we can lay things out. I'm just going to do Search Gallery. I'm going to add a snowman. and I'm going to add two snow women. So one snow woman and you can add another one or you can make a copy of this one. I'll just add another one. All right, notice it looks like there's only one snow woman, but if you look at the object tree, you'll notice that there are two snow women in this world. I'm gonna drag, I'm gonna use the mouse to just drag. And now, which one is snow woman? Which one is snow woman too? This one is Snow Woman. This one is Snow Woman too. So you know what? I'm actually gonna just kind of flip these Snow Woman. I want Snow Woman right here, and I want Snow Woman two over here. I'm gonna make them look at each other. So I'm gonna use the Turn Objects Left and Right tool. Make them both look at each other. The Snowman is right here, and that's it. Our scene is set. I'm going to hit Done, and now it's time to code. So. To code, again, you just drag blocks of code right here. Those blocks are called methods. You can find some of the methods under here in this details panel. But I actually prefer to use it by dragging the object right into the um, into this window and letting the menu pop up. This is similar to what we did in the last lesson when I was uh, positioning the snow people pile. So I'm going to click on snowman. And I'm going to drag snowman over here and I have a bunch of options, right? So I want the snowman to turn to face the snowman. So you can do turn and then, but then you have to play around with different amounts. I'm gonna do turn to face. This is exact. He will turn to face snowman, the entire snowman. At any point, you can hit play and watch a preview. So not much to see there. You can hit restart, see it again. All right, so I want the snowman to turn to face the snowman. Then I want the snowman to try to get her attention. So I'm going to have him say, ahem. Then I will have uh, the snowman turn to face him. Someone made a noise. She wants to see who it is. So snowman turn to face snowman. Then uh, let's hit play, see what it looks like so far. So he says, ahem. She turns around to face him. All right, now I'm going to make, let's make the snowman blink. So I'm going to make his right eye resize itself. So to access his eye, that's a subpart. We hit plus. We can see the snowman subparts. You'll notice that you still don't see his eyes because his eyes are part of his head. So now you can see his left eye and his right eye. We're going to use the right eye. We're going to make the eye resize half as big and then we're gonna make it go back to its uh, original shape so resize twice as big alright and um, at this point let's have the snow woman blush 
So we want her head to turn red. So snowman head. And we're going to do set color too. So set color to red. You could do pink too. Red is just more noticeable. So let's hit play. So the, the blink is a little hard to see. But if you look closely, you saw it and her head turned red. Notice her hat turns a little red. That's fine. Don't worry about it. There's ways around it, but just not worth getting into it. Right now, you have to play with the sub parts of the head. All right. Um, so now at this point, I'll have the snowwoman turn to face her friend. Snowwoman turn to face her friend. And we should ma make her head go back to its original color. One little tip, you can um, drag any line of code to this little clipboard up here and then make a copy of that code. You just drag it right out of the clipboard. And this time we'll set the color to white to so bring it back to its original color. So let's hit play. He says a hen. She turns. He blinks. She blushes. She turns to face her friend. Last thing, we're going to make the snowman hang his head in shame. So we're going to make him, let's have him look at us first. So we'll do turn to face, camera. Then I'm going to hit the plus next to the snowman. I'm going to go to his head. And I'm going to have his head turn forward. Um, let's do, I think all of those are a little too much. So I'm going to type in my own. I'll do point 0.1. And that should be it. So let's hit play. So he blinks right there. She blushes. She faces a friend. She stops blushing. He looks at us, hangs his head in shame. All right, so that is my uh, exercise, my example. Uh, what I want you to do is uh, replicate this. So do the same project. And for your assignment, I'm going to have you do part two to this. Or um, actually more like an extension of this. So what happens next, that's going to be up to you. So a little opportunity for some creativity and for you to share with anyone else who's doing the course with you what you came up with. You can have the snowman, maybe she changes her mind, maybe the snowman walks away and finds someone else, um, maybe um, her, her friend convinces her to give him a chance, it's up to you. Uh, but again, this is linear programming, notice everything starts in order and it executes one by one. And so have fun, and that's it for lesson three, linear programming.